believe it's actually sunny in Ireland. Like, what is going on? Right, what's happening guys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. Good to see your faces again. Uh, mad that I'm actually sticking to an upload schedule right now. Every week, consistent, we're getting a video out, which is great because I'm happy that I'm managing to create the content for you guys. Next thing is, how are you guys? Like, how are you all getting on? I've had a couple days last week where I was just miserable for a second because I was just thinking about my work and just thinking about, you know, events not happening this year. So if any of you lot out there are having days where you just think, oh my God, what what is going on? Like, trust me, I am absolutely right there with you. But the one good thing is I had been having a chat with the guys at Top Spec Motors and I put on my Instagram a picture of me sat on the S1000RR so I was looking at that bike and when I went down there I started to spot that they had quite a few different cool cars sort of dotted around the place and that's the great thing about Ireland. Because of the VRT situation you might not always find like the flashiest newest cars like out and about. Uh, but you do find really cool, rare, fun cars. And I saw a couple of the cars in uh, the yard and I said to the lads, I was like, oh my God, I absolutely love them. Um, would I ever be able to take them out for a drive? And they were like, yeah, sure. Which is amazing uh, because today I am going to be driving something very, very fun. Um, and one car actually that I've been dying to drive for ages. So instead of me waffling on in here about it, let's just take you guys out and see what today's video is all about. Also, check my yellow t-shirt. I am some ray of sunshine today. Obviously, if you're so used to drive. 
driving German all the time. Uh, same thing happens when I jump into the S15. I constantly forget that the indicators and the windscreen wipers are on the opposite uh, locations that they would that you would normally find them. So I constantly find myself turning to go right, but actually just saluting people with my windscreen wipers. Oh my god! It's just like the torque curve on this thing is so linear, like it just pulls and pulls and pulls. I don't know, it just feels wicked to drive. Oh my god, he didn't even salute me. Rude! I'm getting so used to living here now. Like the great thing about Ireland is there is so much space to be driving cars. Like you can just have a lot more fun um, with them over here than I was having in London. But anyway, back to the car. This thing isn't completely standard, um, it has had a few little mods done and I think the mods differ, reflect the age of the car because they've got a <laughs> they've got a HKS blow off valve on there which I never really was a big fan of because I prefer the sort of chatter noise as opposed to the pure like pshaw. that's probably not an accurate sound but you know what I mean. I'm just going to take you guys down here to my favourite little spot for taking photos of cars to take you around the exterior of the car and sort of show you the differences that would meet the naked eye between the Tommy Mac edition and a normal Evo 6. Ah, the Irish silence. Okay, maybe not quite silence. But here we are, here we have the car from the outside. And I tell you something guys, I just love the way these things look. Like they're so Larian of their time. I mean, this car is pretty much 20 years old. And I think it just reflects its age, but I think it's aged really well. Like I love the body stylings of this thing. It's totally Larry. And I remember when everyone was going on about the Honda Civic when they brought out the Type R with all the big uh, wing on the back. And I was like, mm, do you know what? kind of like it but I do think it's period it fits with this car much better than uh, some of the newer cars that's for sure so I mean having a look around this thing there were actually a few key differences between the Tommy Mac and the normal 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 Evo 6 uh, which included sort of the wheels which I'm not gonna pay too much close attention to because whoever had this car before has changed the wheels but it had a different front bumper it also had the strut brace it also had the Tommy Mackinnon edition uh, seats in here, the special edition uh, Recaros, which I do love. They hug you so well, this seat, so, so comfortable. You know what makes me laugh about these cars is the dashboards. Like you could practically be in a Corolla. For apart from the fact that you have this also, which was special with the Tommy Mackinnon, um, the Momo steering wheel, which you see there. Also, you will notice straight away, there is the special decals. Now, these were actually optional. Um, you didn't have to have these, but of course, if you were gonna buy one of these, why the hell would you not have uh, the special decals on it? It looks sick. Then you could get these um, in, I think it was, red was only for the Tommy Mackinnon edition, and you could get them in white, blue, black, or silver. I think I'd have personally gone for a white one, just simply because I like white cars, white 90s, early 2000s cars. Just giving you guys a quick look under the bonnet here. There she sits, that little two litre uh, four cylinder. And there's a couple little bits that have been put onto it. Obviously this is a bit of an intake here. Ooh, some lovely uh, garden hose pipe. And there is that uh, HKS blow off valve. As I said, very uh, signs of the times, that modification there, because actually if you take off this little pipe here, then you get that chatter back, which uh, I did notice earlier. But we'll stick with it for the time being. I also love the little, de uh, the little details here. Like that's just brilliant the way it's got the rally art there on the cap um apart from that she's all sweet there's that strut brace we were talking about i mean basically these cars were made for big kids because if you wanted and in your own head fantasize about being a rally car driver you went out you bought one of these you felt the dog's bollocks and you drove like it as well in theory well let's get back in the car because i'm going to take it for another drive because on a day like this it's absolutely criminal not to be out driving this thing Look at the footage of him driving, like he was just a bit of an animal. Then, second of all, 
when you drive these cars, you literally feel like you could be a rally driver yourself. They inspire so much confidence. I, the way they're set up, the way they're balanced, the way the throttle response is, the way the steering response is, like, it is such a confidence booster when you're driving it. No matter where you are in the corner, you feel like the thing is gonna hold on. I remember taking my brother's Evo 6 to a track day and I just couldn't believe how much grip that this thing had. Unbelievable. Thirdly, you feel like you're playing a game. All the noises that it makes, that five speed box, you're in your very own personal game of Gran Turismo, I don't know. Like, I have been driving this car up and down these roads and just, like, it doesn't get old. I can imagine owning one of these and going out in it every single weekend just so I could hear that noise, just so I could run up and down the gears in the box and then just put tucking it away again and going back to normal life. Like, these cars are to be collected and looked after and pined after as well. There is a reason why these cars that collect such a cult following. It's because they're wicked to drive. They have so much character, so much, I don't know, like just, bah, I can't really explain it. You know what, lads, it's not exactly inspiring me to come home anytime soon. Going from London to here, where I've got bright sunshine, albeit sometimes, I won't, I won't, I won't act like this is all the time. I've got roads I can drive on. I've got, you know, iconic two, the early 2000s, 90s sports cars that I can drive. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'll be back anytime soon, to be honest. Would you come back? So I have driven the car up to the forestry because I think if you're gonna bring a car anywhere to do an outro to your video, then I think the forestry, what looks like a stage, should be where I should end this video because this car was designed with this in mind. It's in its natural habitat right now. And I tell you what, there is a phrase in Ireland that they say, take her and redden it. Well, that is exactly what I want to do with this thing. It just makes you want to get in it, drive it. And that, I think, is the beauty of it. It's there to be enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the video. A big, big thank you to Top Spec Motors again for lending me the Evo 6. Stay with the channel because we have some really, really cool stuff coming up. And yeah. Stay safe, look after yourselves. I'll see you next week, next Thursday, six o'clock. Bye.